So up next, we have Dr. Richardson, who is a parasitologist here at Quinnipiac University, and his topic is Geohomoths, the Unholy Trinity. So prepare to be amazed and disgusted. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> it's not water. There is a health crisis that is raging across the developing world, but surprisingly, you probably haven't heard about it. It's worm infection, and the primary culprits are three types of worms called geohelmets, so-called because they're transmitted to humans through soil that is contaminated with human feces. These include the whipworms, the large human roundworm, Ascaris, and the hookworms. Collectively, these worms infect over one billion people worldwide, mostly children. Very often, one individual will be infected with all three of these at the same time, and this led the, uh, the parasitologist, the late Harold Brown of Columbia University, to coin the, the phrase, unholy trinity. These worms live in the intestine. Infection can cause a number of problems, including anemia and retarded mental and physical development. And these guys can occur in huge numbers. This is a photograph of a little girl in Paraguay who was infected with these parasites. And when she was treated with anti-worm medication, these are the worms that that little girl passed from her body. And uh, I have some of these large human roundworms uh, that I'll pass around just to let you take a look at so you can see what we're <laughs> dealing with here. No child should have to suffer this. Severe infections can be fatal. All of these worms are from the small intestine of an 18-month-old African child that died of an intestinal occlusion. Fortunately, from an epidemiological perspective, the death toll is low. The most conservative estimates place the number of deaths resulting from these infections at 120,000 per year, the vast majority of which are children. But 120,000? Low? Let me put that in perspective. Considering that 120,000 children die each year from these infections, this many children die every two hours. So we're talking about a major problem here. But fortunately, these diseases are treatable and preventable. These infections can easily be controlled through organized treatment programs. And another thing that I really want to stress that's very important to me for you to understand is that these kids that are at risk with these infections have names. And when you put a name on these children at risk, how can you not act? These are just a few of the kids that are being protected by the worm control program that my coworkers and I have put into place in a small village in Cameroon. This includes beautiful children like Thomas, Breezy Ann and Roger Miller, Nadell, and little baby Kristen. And these diseases can be prevented. These worm infections and many other tropical diseases are really just the symptoms of the one great human disease, and that is abject poverty. The key to ultimate control of these diseases is through addressing the issues of poverty, education, and sanitation. So, not just doctors and parasitologists are needed in the fight against these diseases. We're all needed to fight against these neglected tropical diseases and the one great human disease, abject poverty. Now you know, with knowledge though, comes responsibility. When one child suffers needlessly from a treatable or preventable disease or hunger, we are all diminished. But with knowledge also comes power, and you can make a difference. Thank you.